Hello and welcome back to InfoSec Pat's channel. Today what we're going to be talking about is setting up Windows Server 2016 Active Directory, joining that to a, um, a forest in 2019. So let's get started. This is our 2019 server. We can verify Active Directory. Let's go to Active Directory. So this is our primary domain controller right now. So what we're going to do is end up adding a 2016 to this current forest. So as you can see in domain controllers, this is uh, win-2019-dc1. This is our first domain controller in our forest. What is the purpose of two domain controls, if you ask? Good thing you ask. So to have full tolerant and to have replication just in case one domain controller fails, it can replicate. And it just, overall, it's just fault, false tolerant. So we want to have that, right? So let's get started. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go on to our 2016. We're going to verify a few things. So first thing we're going to do is from our, 20, our 2016 box, uh, we're going to try to ping the the domain farce. So it's infosec pat.local. So as you can see here, it is um, 172.16.20.5. So we know we can have communication with the server. So let's get going adding the roles. So first you would go to manage, add roles and features. Next to role based. Next, this is 2016. This is the only server in the server pool right now. Next, we're going to add Active Directory Domain Services. We're going to add the features. Click Next. This click Next. Next. And Install. Once this is done installing the role, what we're going to have to do is promote this to a domain controller. And then in this, in this lecture, we're going to promote, promote it to a domain controller, make, make sure it's replicating. We're going to create a couple of users to make sure that's replicating and go into sites and services and make sure the two are replicating as well just to make sure the whole setup on this lecture is complete so let's give this a few seconds to complete and i hope everyone's having a wonderful day and ready for thanksgiving because we're only a few more days away from thanksgiving so hopefully your bellies are hungry because i sure am starving right now so hopefully right after this video i'm going to be going to get some supper all right, so let's go ahead and promote this to a domain controller. So let's promote it. What we're going to do is we're going to add it to a current domain controller. Um, to a, we're going to add this domain controller to an existing forest. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to um, what we're going to do is we're going to add the credentials for the 2019 server. So we're going to do admin, administrator. No, let's retype this. I'm, I'm a bad typer. Sorry, guys. All right, so we can see that it, it generated. So say, for example, we can select. If you have multiple domain controllers or the multiple forests, within your environment, you'll see those here. But we only have the one infosexpat.local, so that's good enough for now. So let's go to hit next. We're going to leave the defaults. We're going to need DNS because DNS, uh, Active Directory relies on DNS. That's how it works properly. And let's give this a second because we're going to have to add the password, but it's still loading. There it goes. So let's um, install our DSRM password. Sorry, guys. I have to look down while I type. I can't type very good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and click next. We'll hit next again. So where, where are we going to replicate from? So this 2016, where is it going to replicate from? It's going to replicate from the primary domain controller, which is DC1. So let's click down here. We see win 2019 DC1. This is the one that we want to replicate to. Hit next. Leave all the defaults. That's perfectly fine. And next. Once this is done, we're going to reboot. We're going to log in with the domain credentials onto this box. And then we're going to look into Active Directory. 
and check DNS, make sure everything is working, and then we're going to do a full test. So that's fine. Hit next or install. Now this is going to go ahead and install. While that's going, we're going to let's go check the 2019 box. Let's make sure everything is good to go here. Um, there is one thing I want to test here. Let's do an IP config. Um, this is our primary IP address. Let's do an IP config all so we can see all the settings. So for our secondary domain, I mean our secondary DNS server on our primary is going to be DC2 and vice versa. On DC2, our primary is going to be dot six and our secondary is going to point back to the primary here, which is dot five. And I'm going to walk you through that. So let's go back to 2016. It's still going. Let's give that a few seconds. Perfect. Okay, close. Close, close. Let's reboot real quick. It's fine. So now if we if we go back to our 2019 box and if we actually go to domain controllers and we refresh this DC2 should be there. Let's see. Boom. So now it's there. So in DNS as well. So let's go to DNS. We can go to forward lookup zones. We refresh this. We should see DC2 probably is going to take a second to replicate. And that's what we're going to we're going to fix that. So let's go back to DC2, let this reboot and we should be good to go. But it's a process. Let's give that a second. All right, so now we're logged into our 2016 box. So let's go to server manager, was a local server. And we're gonna make a few little changes. Like I said, I want to change the DNS servers on here because I don't want to point out to the internet. I want to point to our domain controller. So our primary is, is um, the 2016 box, which is going to be dot six. And then our secondary is going to be our primary, which is 172.16.20.6. Oh, dot five, sorry. This is dot six. Okay. So with that, now we can go back to our primary. And now we should see. 2000, the 2016 box right here. And if we go to for look of zones, uh, 2016 right there. And let's go to pointer records. And we see it right here, 2016. All right, so let's make the DNS change on this computer, on this server. So we're going to make this 2000. So this is our primary, right? Yes. So to make sure. So now we're going to point this to 172.16.20.6, which is the 2016 server. Okay. All right. So now let's do Ping. Uh, let's see something. Let's do host name really quick. Okay, let's ping win dash twenty sixteen dash DC two. Boom. So we can ping it, we can get to it. So now let's check replication. So we're on the the primary. So Let's just go ahead and we're going to do a few things to verify. So let's go to um, Active Directory users computers. We can see the domain controller there. We can also set up, I want to do a new organizational unit. Okay, and this is going to put test OU. Okay, so in this test OU, I'm just going to put a new user 
name him Bob and Bob as the login and we won't have it never so let's just make Bob's password Okay. All right, so now that is set up. Now let's go on to the 2016 server, which is our domain controller, our new domain controller. Now we go to Active Directory Users Computers. I'm going to actually pin this. Um, we should see that OU there. So we see the test OU, and we see Bob. Perfect. So now we can see that it's replicating. And we can do one more thing in group policy. Um, let's just open up group policy management. And we can pin this as well. So we can just go to the forest, domains, uh, group policy, manage, group policy objects, create a new group policy. We can just name this test GPO, um, GPO1. And now let's go back and test it and see if it's there on DC1. Let's go to group policy, it's management, sites, infosec, group policies, and boom, it's there. So now we can see that it's replicating. And the last thing we can do to verify, obviously we know everything's replicating, but let's just go to sites and services. Sites and services, we can see the default site setup, sites, Default first site name. So let's go into here. Let's go to servers. We can see the two servers, DC1 and DC2. So what we're going to do is we're going to replicate now. Okay. And then properties, objects. This is the container. Okay, perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and check, uh, check replication topology. Okay, refresh. The connection looks like it's connected. Now it's replicating. Perfect. So now we can go back here. We can replicate. We can see now we can see the replication, but let's go ahead and refresh this for a second and replicate now. Okay, so now if we go to properties, whoop, not there, sorry, on the actual server properties, we can see everything is here. So the computer, the domain, it's a, G, it's a GC, it's a global catalog. So it looks like everything is working um, as far as the connection. And yeah, everything is good. So that concludes the video for today, adding uh, 2016 to a current domain controller or a, a current forest. So let's see, I think that should be it. Um, we did we did one, we did um, a user, a group policy, an OU. That's pretty much how you would start getting your, uh, your Active Directory set up. Now, you, now we have two domain controllers and now it's set up so they can replicate, which is awesome. So that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and I would really appreciate it. Just smash that bell so you get new notifications for updated videos. I try to update two to three videos a day, excuse me, a week. So without further ado, thank you for viewing and have a wonderful day, guys.